Hey, what's going on everyone? With today's video, I'm gonna try and cover a little bit of everything. So some battery R&D, some bait tube R&D. I also have some questions from people who were looking for maybe some help finding fish but did not want to venture, you know, two, three miles offshore. So I'm gonna try and drop some waypoints for them. So here we go. I'm gonna start with a newbie advice. So I'm gonna start with Google Earth, and this is where you launch your kayak. So if you're just starting out, an obvious place to fish might be like right here, by the mouth of the harbor. I would probably advise against it. There's just way too much boat traffic coming in and out. And to be honest, some of these boaters don't care a poop about kayakers. So yeah, I'd stay away from the mouth of the harbor. So if you do, decide to come on out a little bit then your choice is to either go north this way or south now I would probably suggest that you go south because again the big thing about Redondo Beach is the huge underwater canyon and Google Maps this is some kind of layer here where you can't see the underwater terrain but I think if you go north you kind of lose the features of the underwater canyon. If you go south, you'd have to imagine the, the line of delineation of the canyon extending way out here. So even around here, you're gonna get some pretty deep water and then you, gotta, you have a wall that rises steeply into shallower water here. And this right here is Topaz. This right here is Topaz Jetty. Okay, so if you kind of head out of the mouth of the harbor and head this way, there's some pretty good stuff and I'm going to document it with video. But first, a word about safety. Always check conditions before you go out. I don't care if you're a newbie or a seasoned vet, always check conditions. Okay, so we're going out Sunday, the 31st of March. I'm um, gonna briefly go over some of the factors. Partly cloudy, temperature very nice, wind light, five miles per hour, barometric pressure, I don't pay much attention to that, UV index, six. The water temperature is finally warming up, right? For two months we had like, you know, high 50s. Now it's starting to warm up. Swells coming out of the west southwest 2.6 feet 14.7 seconds between bumps so all in all a very very mellow day okay so this kind of gives you their best guesstimate as to when the bike is going to be on i haven't done enough sampling to be able to really tell okay so and i'll get to uh this a little bit later but the difference between high tide and low tide isn't very significant and that's because okay, we have what about like a quarter moon and again when you have like a quarter moon half moon you're not going to see like big time changes in, in tidal movements and water movement it's not going to be like a great day in terms of you know some of these scientific factors it's just a beautiful day all around it's 10 30 right now and the wind is very very mellow and one of the very few days where it's kind of blowing out of the north rather than the south but it's so mellow that it doesn't pose a problem and if conditions are typically this mellow at 10 30 then it's going to be a great day throughout so i'm going to do things a little bit differently today i know some people are kind of interested in like really local local spots within half a mile so as I'm paddling out to you know like faraway places if I see any good marks then I'm going to hit the waypoint and then relay that information to the people who may be interested okay so here's one such waypoint there's something on the bottom disregard this stuff because that's transitory but there's something on the bottom probably whitefish and those are the coordinates and we're probably like 200 yards from the mouth of the harbor. Okay, here's another close by area. You can see there's something down here. I'm gonna drop a waypoint. 
and those are the coordinates. So right here we're going to be climbing out of this canyon and these again these black lines stacked close together mark um, you know a change in elevation and there's a big ball of bait right here. So to help you visualize what I'm doing is I'm paddling south okay and you have to be able to imagine there is an underwater canyon here it's not super deep but it's still you know maybe like 150 feet so this corresponds to this so I'm going south and I'm leaving the valley floor the canyon floor and here's the wall right here and I'm going into water that is maybe 40 50 feet so this change in elevation is here right you're leaving deep water and climbing a wall into shallower water so if you're just starting out you know, maybe fishing 150 154 feet of water is going to be kind of difficult so i would climb the wall and then focus on the lip of this canyon and this is again about 40 50 feet and you will find fish at the lip of this canyon Okay, so this is another good mark for, you know, maybe someone who doesn't want to come out too far. So I'm going to drop a waypoint here. And there are the coordinates. Okay, so here's another good mark. You got some kind of underwater structure and you got fish on top of it. There you go. Okay, here's another good mark right here. So let's mark that. The crosshairs lined up. Drop a waypoint. And there you go. Now it is just lighting up, okay? These are all probably mackerel right here. So you definitely want to make bait and they're shallow, like 20 feet and below. This is where you want to be if you want to make bait. So it seems like this area in general, you know, again, it's coming off the uh, canyon wall, is a pretty happening area. And so where I am is, that's the harbor right there. And that right there is Topaz Jetty. So you can see the pier, you can see the jetty, you know, at most maybe half a mile from the harbor. A pretty productive area. Just look for Topaz Jetty and just fish maybe, you know, a quarter mile off of it. This mark is a little bit further south of Topaz Jetty, but clearly there's some big structure here. So this would be a good place to drop. And there are the coordinates. Okay, here's another interesting mark, right? These little bumps right here, they're not really bumps. That's just a swell talking but this is a bigger bump and you've got some fish hanging out on top and there are the coordinates so originally my intent was to jumble everything together some newbie stuff some you know, battery and bait tube R&D a little bit of this that but the video is just gonna run too long so I'm gonna wrap this up here and leave it for the newbies and then I'll just create more videos for the other stuff. As always, thank you for dropping by. Get out there, have fun, be safe. And we will see you on the next outing. Bye for now.